So as some of you may have realized, Apple did go ahead and release Apple Intelligence within iOS 18.1. And I'll show you how to get the object cleaner or object remover and how to remove objects inside of iOS 18.1 and how to use that cleanup feature that just came out. So number one, make sure you have Apple Intelligence installed. You can do this by going inside of your iPhone settings, just like this, going down to Apple Intelligence and Siri, and just going through and making sure you have this particular feature installed, just making sure you have this enabled. That's number one. Now, number two, what you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and click on your photos application and you want to go and open up a photo. So in this case, I'll just go and open up this particular portrait mode photo I took a while ago or just today. And what I want to do is I want to click on the settings icon that's at the bottom. So tap into settings and you'll come into this page. Now you'll see a little option right here where there's a little cleanup option now. So now what we can do is we can tap on cleanup and now it's going to bring us into the cleanup portion. Now it may actually download the cleanup tool when it first starts, so keep that in mind. But now what we want to do is we want to basically go ahead and essentially just go through and start circling what we want to remove. So in this case, what we could do is we can go ahead, let's start off with the ear. You can't do anything big for starting off, which is kind of annoying. I tried to do this earlier, but it doesn't work. You can start off with something small. So you can literally just circle whatever you want to remove. So let's say I wanted to go and try to remove this ear. I can go through try removing it like this, and it actually does a pretty good job at removing it. Now I can do the same thing with the other ear as well. Let's say I want to remove this ear. I can do the exact same thing. So try circling around the object that you want to go ahead and remove, and it will try its best to remove it. Now you can still see there's some resemblance left. Now if you try to do something too big, for example, if I try to do this, this may not work. As you can see, it sometimes tells me that it's too big or too small. So you can see it's not going to work. So you have to try something small first. But you could just keep doing this over and over and over again until you have everything that you want in your object that you want to delete. It can take some time. It's a little glitchy here and there. But that's basically how to do it. Now whenever you're done removing the object, let's say I want to remove one more thing. Let's say I want to remove like this right here. When you're done removing the objects that you want to go ahead and remove, what you're going to want to do next is you want to go and click on done in the top right corner. So click on done, and then that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. That photo will then go ahead and be you know, done, and you've basically cleaned up this image. Now in this case, I'll just go and click reset. So I'll click up here, and I'll just click reset this image, or I don't even know how to do it. But essentially, that's how to do it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.